Members of the Dane County Board of Supervisors are looking into whether there are contract violations following SSM Health's move to stop gender-affirming surgeries. Catherine Merck has been following the story since we broke the news, and she joins us now with more from the board chair about what could be violated in the contract. Catherine? Board Chair Patrick Miles said that Dean Health assured the county that coverage under their existing contract won't be affected by SSM Health's decision not to provide gender affirming surgeries at SSM Health facilities. The director of the county's Department of Administration told News 3 the initial review found that employees will still be able to receive gender affirming care under the current SSM Health contract, but will be referred to non-SSM Health providers. However, the chair of the county board told me he still wants the county's Corporation Council to look into that contract and ensure there aren't other violations with SSM Health's policy change. The fact that, that there is a limitation of where people can go, there'll be longer waiting lists for that, for the, the care that they're seeking. And, um, in my view, longer wait times is in itself a form of, of denial of care. Um, whether that rises to the level of a contract violation, I don't know. And that's, that's one of the things uh, I, I would expect to be fleshed out. The county's contract with Dean Health expires at the end of 2024, according to the board chair. He says that if a new contract won't include gender affirming care, they'll seek options elsewhere to ensure that kind of care. We have reached out to SSM Health and Dean Insurance for comment with no response.